Hello, my name is Ian Upton and I work for Academic Development. In this video, I'll share some tips on how to get the most out of your webinar sessions. Webinars are a video-based environment, the key word here being video. From my perspective as a teacher, seeing my students helps me to connect and deliver better learning experiences. So, and if you're able, switch your camera on. Webinar learning is so much more effective when we can see each other. A question, can you be seen? Try this, pick up your laptop or mobile or tablet, whatever you're using to connect to your webinar and look at your video feed. Turn around slowly and look at the shadows on your face and how they move. See how you change from dark silhouette to fully lit and everything in between. Pick an angle that shows you clearly and use it. This is a simple thing to do and will make a real difference to the way you're seen. Next question, can you be heard? Most webinar software has a test sound facility. First, it will play you a sound so you can check your speakers or headphones are working. Next, it will ask you to speak. When you stop, it will play back what's been recorded. Listen to how you sound. This is how people will hear you. If your sound is noisy, close the windows, close doors, move somewhere quieter. If you're faint, speak louder or move closer to the microphone. If your voice distorts or is crackly, you may need a better microphone. In this case, the easiest way to improve your sound is to use a headset. A USB connected sound cancelling headset is a good choice. If you plug in a headset or a different microphone, you may need to let your software know which microphone to use. Check your settings. Eye contact is important. Others may find it hard to make a connection with you if you're looking up or looking down or talking into space. You may need to place your laptop or mobile device on a box or on a stand to get your eye line looking right. Our voice is only part of the story when we communicate. In the physical world, our whole bodies engage in communication. So give yourself space on screen and in your physical location. Frame yourself so we can see your hands and so you can be seen as you move in 3D space. Use your hands as you talk, move towards, and away from the camera to reinforce the nature of your communication. Think about angles. Turning sideways allows us to bring ideas and concepts into our space. As in the physical world, body language can add depth and richness to our communications. Webinars are a great way to learn remotely. So don't be a shadowy cardboard cutout hiding in the background. Consider light, sound, framing and body language. Take control of how you appear. Take control of how you interact and use your webinar sessions to engage fully with your course. Good luck.